I got a, a signing bonus of 75000 This is a great story. So I get seventy five grand. I've never really had a paycheck before. Like when I went home in the summers in Canada, if you're a college student, they don't take taxes out of your check. So I worked for the school board. I cut grass. I had this mower I used to drive around town. <laughs> I'd race other cars with. That was the gas. <laughs> car. He used the gas story. card. He used the gas card for, from Junior. Like, to yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I was in Brantford, so Gretz would drive by in his you know, get the fuck Mercedes, out and I'd be riding my lawnmower. Around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you, man. This guy's not playing in the show. Exactly. So anyway, so that was the the. So I get this money, seventy five grand signing bonus. Oh, this is the best. Oh, yeah. So I take the trainer on the hockey team with me to the car dealership. I'm going to get a fancy car because I I want everybody to know that I'm going to make it. Right. <laughs> so I go back to I go back to Brantford and uh, with this sports car. But I take the the, the trainer, uh, Hap Zarzor, his name was. He went on to become the trainer at Duke football. So a little tiny guy, and I go. Hey, Hop, come with the car deal. She'll go, okay. So we go in. I go, that looks like a great car. It was a Mitsubishi 3000 VR4 twin turbo. And I'm like, that's that's got my what name. What color? Right? No, it was red, bright red. <laughs> Had a fin on the back. What that, a donkey you were. Oh, it's terrible. So I don't know how to drive stick shift, right? So I said to Hap, hey, <laughs> like, you drive it. So the trainer drives my the drives the car. I'm sitting in the back seat watching him drive it. I go, How's, how is it? He goes, it's great. I go, we'll take it. I'd never even driven the car before I took it. It's like Rocky II oh when he God. pulls so, out. So I got this red sports car. This is the best. I go to Vegas with my buddies. First time I've ever been to Vegas. And we're having this great time. I brought a few bucks with it from the signing bonus, whatever I had left. The whole, remember, they give you the whole seventy-five grand. I don't know. I'm not thinking about taxes. Oh, I can no. tell you that. So I spend the whole thing. I think I lost thirty grand in Vegas. Right? I don't have any. That's the first money I've ever had in my <laughs> life. I spend it all. So it actually played into why I made the team. So anyway, so I go to Washington. Now I, I have to borrow money off my sister to get to training camp because I got no money. And, and I'm, someone's telling me you got to pay taxes. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Right? So <laughs> she must have been like, what, what, you so have now nothing I, left? I, I've put myself in such a position that I got to make the team, man. Like I got to find a way to make this team, no matter what it takes. So I should have done the work in the summer. Did not to the point where I showed up at training camp. My first day, I'm standing there. Michael Pavanka, Peter Bondra are there, and they go, "Hey, kid, can you grab my sticks there?" Right, and I'm like. That's kind of a strange request. So I walk over and I get this Pavanka sticks. I bring him over to him and he says, thank you. And I walk away. Don't think anything of it. The next week or so goes by and I'm sitting there on the bench with him during a preseason game. And uh, Bonjour's laughing. He looks over at me. I go, what? He goes, remember when Pivo asked me, asked you to get his sticks? I go, yeah, what? He goes, he thought you were the, he thought you were the equipment guy. <laughs> Because you, yeah. you got this milk equipment kit. You got this milk bag I, body. I, I, so but he's I'd like, be the first, uh, and you, you know, you're in, in camp. I'd be the first guy uh, off the ice to practice, and I'd leave. And they're like, "Where's this guy going? Like, who is this guy? Out of nowhere, <laughs> number forty-one. He's not supposed to be here, right?" And I jump on the trainer's table. I'd get on the massage table, and all the veterans are going, "What's this guy doing?" No, you were oh, just yeah. 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 drinking. It didn't. It didn't affect me at all that there was this pecking order of how it was going to work. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm here." I'm. And that's back it. in the day when it was oh, like yeah. you eat last. Yeah. You get all, all that stuff used to really matter. Do you, do you think that they embraced the fact that you were so naive to it all that they could sense that you were completely naive to it all? I, Did I, they ever end up talking to you about? Oh about, yeah, so. Now I'm like I'm I'm trying to make the team. I got no money, right? I'm making thirty five thousand in the minors, and I've got I'm a hundred and forty in the NHL, and I just spent seventy five grand. So I'm like, what am I gonna do, man? So I'm looking around. There's this tough guy was out of the lineup. This guy, and I I told you guys earlier, I'd never had a fight in my life, ever. So I'm thinking I better start. I better try it, right? So. I, Darren Banks is playing for Boston. He's trying out there, big, guy. tough guy, right? And he's skating around. I'm chirping at him. And he thinks I'm joking around. He's like, this guy's not going to fight me. And thank God he thought that because I didn't. <laughs> and Steve Leach was on the Bruins at that time. And that was my first ever fight. And he punched me in the head hard, man. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if this is uh, going to work for me. But I'm like, I got to make this team. I need the money. Like, I got to pay back my sister. So that's the only reason that I ever started to fight in my first year in the NHL. 